Hey everyone, Mr. Technodad here. I haven't been around much in the last couple of months and I want to tell you something about why. One thing that I've done a lot of over the years is get older. This has its pluses and minuses. On the plus side, you get to chart your own course. You learn from your mistakes, you overcome your limitations. But one thing about getting older that's always a kick in the pants is hearing that someone younger than you, younger than me, has died. Here are a few guys, all about five years younger than me, who have died recently. In September, Steve Harwell of Smash Mouth died. In October, Matthew Perry of Friends fame died. Then in December, my brother passed away. So, you know, that sucks. But rather than talk to you about grief, again, I want to talk about gratitude because I am very grateful to have had him as a brother. Let me tell you a little about him. My brother was the kind of guy who would drop what he was doing and come help you. One time I had an enormous grill that I wanted to give to my sister. It was way heavier than anything I could wrangle into a vehicle. I told my brother about it and he just said, I got you. He showed up at my house with a forklift and took care of it. I have many memories of him operating heavy equipment. In my family, we always said that if it had an engine, my brother could operate it. Backhoes, loaders, motorcycles, so many motorcycles. On a few occasions, he got on a motorcycle and just took off toward some part of the US with only a vague idea of where he was going. No hotel reservations. I always admired the courage it took to do this. Here's a 2006 picture of him from somewhere in Wyoming or Montana. How cool is that? My brother also loved boats and he loved to be on the water. He was always backing some boat down a boat launch, throwing out crab traps or teaching my kids how to steer. My brother loved guitars and he loved rock and roll. He jammed with his friends at unreasonably high volumes. He used to work at a local venue and he had met a ton of musicians. At his memorial, one of his friends told a story about them introducing bagel dogs to Dizzy Gillespie. During the height of COVID, when the vaccine was new and hard to come by, I asked him if he had any plans to try to get it. He said, oh, uh, actually, I already got it. I asked him how, and he said, I, I deliver for meals on wheels. I have some seniors and I take them food and I talk with them and so on. Technically, it makes me medical personnel, and they said I should get it. Don't tell anyone I volunteer, okay? He did so many things for so many people, but he never showed off about it. When my son got a house, we got a fancy new desk that had to be assembled. My brother was always crazy handy, and he came down and assembled it for him. We modified it so the controls would go on the left side, because reasons. That ended up being the desk my son used for the last nine months of his life. In 2022, right after my boy had died, I was talking to my brother on the phone. He asked me what the plans were for a public announcement. I told him how Alex had written a message to his community, and he asked me to make it into a video for his channel. I said I needed to get it done, and that I was just dreading it. My brother didn't hesitate. I'll be there, he said. Just tell me when. And he was. When I shot So Long Nerds, it was just me, my wife, my dog, my editor, and my brother and I was so grateful to have his support. That's him at the studio with Floof. Sometimes I get asked, Mr. Technodad, my grandpa died and I loved him so much, but, and then they describe some big event in their life that they've been preparing for, maybe for years, like college admissions or a critical career interview or whatever it is. They say, I just can't let myself feel anything right now. I know if I start crying, I'm not gonna be able to stop. Would it be bad if I didn't cry now? I feel like I'm bad for not crying. No, you're not bad. There's nothing wrong with that. Ideally, do it deliberately with intention and with the understanding that you're not making your feelings go away. You're just deferring your feelings to a later time when you're in a better position to deal with them. And I'm doing that right now. As much as I love my brother, I'm not in a place where I can handle a lot more grief at the moment. I have a whole ton of feelings and I've just put them back over my left shoulder. Every once in a while, I catch a glimpse of them and I just say, nope, I'm not going to feel that right now, which is fine, provided that you come back to those feelings when the time is right. You can put it off for a while, months, but don't take too long or there might be consequences. 
Here are some more pictures. He sent me this picture from somewhere in Africa. This is my brother and my boy at my sister's wedding in 2004. Two guys uncomfortable with suits. His hair was great, wasn't it? This is him and a cousin in Greece in 2005, in the fishing village our mom's parents grew up in. I have about a million pictures of my brother with kids. My kids, my sister's kids, his kids. I don't like to put pictures of kids online, but here are just a couple. This is Christmas Day 2012 with my twins' first bikes. This was a trip the extended family took in 2013. That's my twins, two of my nieces, Alex and my brother. Here's a picture of my brother and sister. This is the three of us. My brother and me at my wedding in 2020. Here are some pictures with his wife, including the engagement party in Bulgaria and pictures of his 2014 wedding at the Palace of Fine Arts. So that's a brief summary of my brother. He would have been 57 years old today. I am so grateful to have had him as a part of my life. We are but shooting stars, burning brightly as we cross the sky, before we suddenly burn out. I hope that you can live your life to the fullest and inspire gratitude in the people you leave behind. Thank you very much. I'm gonna have to watch myself when I get home. That's why I wanted to watch. Now where are you going? Sit in the car, listen. This is how I wanted to see this whole thing. Uh huh. Why are you sitting in the car? I don't like these people.